Hey everyone, my name is Ashwin AJ and I'm a doctor working in Liverpool at Arrow Park Hospital. Now, in the last few days, I've been hearing many rumours and myths about coronavirus. So I thought I'll make a quick video summarising the key points that you need to know about coronavirus. So, what is coronavirus? Coronavirus belongs to a family of viruses. There are many different types and strains commonly known to cause common cold in human beings. However, the new strand of coronavirus being the noble 2019 coronavirus that has been originated in China in Wuhan city that has been causing a lot of problems lately are a strand of viruses that have not yet been known to human beings. Now, it is noble because it is new and we do not have much information about it. It is corona because corona means crown and on microscopy, these viruses have a crown-like structure on top of it. And these noble coronaviruses are not the typical ones that causes common cold. We believe this new strand of coronavirus must have originated from a bat or a snake where the virus mutated itself and then got infected into human beings and caused symptoms. As of 31st of January, about 177 tests have been conducted in the UK and now we know that two people have been tested positive and these two people have had a history of travel to China recently. The World Health Organization has now declared this outbreak a public health emergency of international concern. As you can see on this table, there are currently about 9,826 confirmed cases globally with around 19 countries being affected. The latest flight from Wuhan, China landed in the UK with over 80 Britons and they have been transported to Arrow Park Hospital where they will be kept for a period of 14 days as a quarantine period. During these 14 days, they will be monitored and observed by healthcare professionals for any of these symptoms. If they are noticed to have these symptoms of coronavirus, they will be then transported to Royal Liverpool Hospital in our local infectious disease centre for more treatment. So then, what symptoms does coronavirus cause? Now, symptoms can range from being mild to very severe, but some of the common symptoms that people can get are fever, cough and shortness of breath. But be also alert and attentive to the other common infective symptoms that people can get, such as runny nose, watery eyes and sore throat. Now you might ask, these symptoms don't seem that deadly after all. If you are, have a fairly good immune system and you're young, these symptoms might be very mild. However, if you're elderly, if you've got diabetes or you've got long-standing heart problems and lung problems, or if you have a weak immune system because of an active cancer or chemotherapy or radiotherapy, these symptoms can be more severe. Now, symptoms can appear from as early as two days to as long as 14 days, and this period is typically known as the incubation period. It becomes more dangerous when these symptoms can then lead to other infections such as a pneumonia, bronchitis, or acute respiratory distress syndrome. This is when this virus or other infections can become deadly to people. So, how does this coronavirus spread? Well, the main way it spreads is through air droplets from people sneezing and coughing and you can pick it up from the air. The other way you can spread is through close contact by shaking hands, for example, with people who are infected. You can also get this infection from touching an object which has been infected and then you're touching your mucous membrane such as your nose and your mouth. So, how will you get this disease? Well, the chances of you getting coronavirus in the UK still remains very low unless you've been exposed to someone traveling from Wuhan city in China or if you've been to Wuhan city in China yourself. How do we diagnose it? Diagnosis can be clinically and based on the fact of your travel history, if you've been to China, for example, or if you've had any exposure to people from China. Tests that we can do in hospital includes checking your sputum, we can do a sum of your nose, throat and deeper lung tissues, and we can even send a blood test. These tests have been sent to Public Health England in Collindale. So, how do we treat this condition? Unfortunately, there are no treatments available. The main thing would be to stay hydrated and monitor for symptoms for more severe infections. So, for example, if you're very dehydrated in hospital, we can give you intravenous fluids. If you're having temperature, we can give you antipyrexal medications. And if you're breathing it severe from pneumonia or bronchitis, then we can assist you in your breathing. The most important message I want to convey to you is, what can you do to prevent getting coronavirus? Number one, do not travel to China. Now the World Health Organization is advised to avoid all travel unless it's essential. Number two, make sure that you wash your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. 
If this is not available, then please make sure you use an alcohol hand sanitizer. Number three, if you're coughing or sneezing, make sure you use a tissue and then throw it into the bin straight away. Number four, if you're using a public workspace, make sure you clean the area properly before using it. Number five, if you see someone that has been infected with these symptoms, for example, if you see someone who's coughing or sneezing in public, I advise you to sit at least six meters away because that's how far cough and sneeze particles can travel. Most importantly, if you notice that you have these symptoms, such as runny nose, watery eyes, sore throat, fever, cough, you need to make sure that you let your GP know. This is to make sure that you remain safe as well as the public remains safe. Because when you contact the healthcare provider, they'll make necessary arrangements for you to be reviewed properly in hospital by a doctor. And this is by ensuring that the community remains safe as well. Because if you are diagnosed with these symptoms, the first thing that we will do in hospital is to isolate you so that the other patients remain safe in hospital. And the most common question that I've been asked is, Ashwin, do I need to wear a surgical mask when I'm in public? Well, the answer to that is, wearing surgical masks can provide some kind of protection against these viruses, but they don't provide full protection. In hospitals, we use a different kind of mask known as an FFP3 mask, and this is meant to be more protective against these viruses. Hence, surgical masks are not used by doctors in hospital. Now, World Health Organization has not yet recommended to use these masks or surgical masks in public, and hence, I would advise you to do the same. And you definitely don't want to be doing this in public transport. So another important message I want to give you is don't listen to the message that the media puts out because they can be unreliable. If you want safe information, always ask your doctor for advice and check out information from World Health Organization or Public Health England. They're regularly updating their website to provide you with the latest information on coronavirus. And finally, stay safe, stay alert and stay informed. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask me. And remember, this has been recorded on the 31st of January. The findings about coronavirus are being regularly updated and more information will be out as soon as it will be known. So, like I mentioned, check out Public Health England and World Health Organization for more information.